The Russian Kornet anti-tank missile system is capable of piercing any smart active protection system of armor with a paired launch of missiles. The Kornet self-propelled anti-tank missile systems can fire in tandem mode, specifically, two missiles can be launched at a time within a single command and control field to pierce the enemy armor's active protection system. Both missiles thus launched follow each other in a single laser beam with a short interval, which helps deceive the armor's smart protection systems. This system operates by firing a cluster of striking elements towards an incoming missile detected by its radar sensor to destroy the attacking element. However, this protection may fail against the cornet as the second missile will accurately hit the target, even if the first projectile is destroyed. Even if a smoke screen emerges all of a sudden while a missile approaches a target, the missile does not lose control and continues moving along the original flight path. Considering the missile's velocity, the target will most likely have no time to change its position and will be wiped out, in spite of the smoke. The Kornet is a Russian anti-tank guided weapon. Western reporting name of this weapon is at 14 or Spriggan. Its fearsome reputation is derived from its extreme range that's far beyond most current anti-tank missiles. The FGM-148 Javelin, for example, can only deliver its lethal top attack warhead 2.5 kilometers away while the original Cornet E developed by the Instrument Design Bureau, KBP, had a maximum range of 5.5 kilometers. However despite significantly longer range the Russian Cornet is not that advanced in terms of guidance as the US Javelin. To outdo rival systems, KBP upgraded the Cornet. Improved Cornet M has twice the maximum range of its predecessor. The Cornet's tandem heat warhead is just as intimidating for its size. With a 152mm diameter it is one of the largest and most powerful ATGMs ever built. This feature is meant to defeat the threat posed by explosive reactive armor, ERA, on modern tanks. Cornet M, upgraded Cornet ATGM with laser beam riding guidance system and a range of 8 or 10 kilometers. There are two different missiles. A standard anti-tank missile with tandem heat warhead has a range of 8 kilometers. It penetrates 1,100 to 1,300 millimeters behind ERA or 3 to 3.5 meters of concrete. The second missile has a thermobaric warhead and a range of 8 kilometers. The third missile has a blast fragmentation warhead and a range of 10 kilometers. Though it seems that the Cornet M is available only in a vehicle-mounted form. Cornet M is an improved version. It is available both in manned portable vehicle mounted configurations. This anti-tank weapon uses improved tripod launcher and improved sights. It uses the same missiles as the Cornet M. Unspecified number of these launchers and missiles were ordered by the Russian army. Cornet D, anti-tank missile carrier with long-range Cornet MATGMs. It is based on Tiger 4x4 utility vehicle carrying eight Cornet M's on two separate launchers. This missile is also used on the new unmanned turrets of the Armada Heavy IFV, KURGANETS-25 IFV and Boomerang APC. Cornet D1 is an improved anti-tank missile carrier, fitted with improved Cornet M system. Several of these vehicles were demonstrated in 2015. The first reported instance of the Cornet engaging hostile forces was in Iraq during the US-led 2003 invasion. Iraqi Cornets were able to disable two M1A1 Abrams tanks and an M2 Bradley IFV. US forces were then ordered to seize any samples of the Cornet for analysis by military intelligence. The Cornet achieved further notoriety during Israel's 2006 invasion of southern Lebanon. According to the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, the militant group Hezbollah acquired Cornets via Syria and used these to disable Israeli Merkava tanks. In 2014 reporters and eyewitnesses in Ukraine found spent launch tubes printed with information identifying they contained Cornet missiles made in Russia. It deserves mention that Ukraine's losses during the military conflict were crippling hundreds of its armored vehicles were knocked out by the Russian and separatist forces using RPGs, anti-tank missiles and artillery. The Cornet's impressive combat record reflects its growing importance in modern warfare where ordnance for demolishing vehicles and structures, and even low-flying aircraft, is badly needed. 
With the Russian military adopting a new generation of armored fighting vehicles based on the Armada chassis the Cornet is finding a broader niche to prove itself. International customers of the Cornet include Algeria, Eritrea, Greece, Iran, Iraq, India, Jordan, Kuwait, Morocco, Peru, Saudi Arabia, Serbia, Syria, Turkey, and the United Arab Emirates. The 9K133 Cornet was first introduced in 1994 and has since inspired subtle, albeit persistent, demand from many countries including states that weren't traditionally customers of Russian hardware. This missile was adopted by the Russian army in 1998. As an ATGM for ground forces, the Cornet is deployed by a two-man team. But depending on the circumstances a single person can assemble and fire it. The two-man setup involves one carrying the launch tube loaded with a missile while the other carries the fire control system and day, night sight on its adjustable tripod. The Cornet was designed to conceal its operator who could aim it while either crouched or lying prone behind cover. This is why the launch tube is mounted above the fire control system, 